Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, today, we're going to um, put a book against a book and have them fight in mortal combat. Um, basically, uh, I don't even remember why I did it, but um, I read earlier this month, I read The Gunslinger, and um, I tried to find the um, original um, story of The Gunslinger that was published in um, Science Fiction and Fantasy Magazine, I think is what it was called, because that... Um, the original Gunslinger book is a fix-up, like, um, how iRobot and, um, I believe the first Foundation book was, um, where you have, like, a bunch of different stories and then you put them in a book together, um, to try to intertwine them. And I'm sure this one, um, or, or the gunslinger is uh, was a lot easier to do since the characters were the same and all. But um, it's funny that we're talking about this since this video is not about the gunslinger. So it got me on a kick to read Stephen King's short stories because for the most part I never have done that. Um, I read, um, like, Creep Show, so that was kind of close to short stories. Um, when I was a kid, I loved that book. Um, but read, like, Carrie and the Shining and, um, Cujo and Firestarter, and, um, those were my introductions to Stephen King, and, um, I just have always found him, um, like I've said it on this channel hundreds of times, that he's more of a paper salesman than a writer, and that's not a hundred percent fair. I think he has been sculpted into that by his publishers and his editors, and he is capable of doing that with his written word. But I was really curious about his short stories, and I wanted to see if there was anything there where you could almost tell when everything changed for him um, in his stories. Um, so, basically, I'm taking his first short story collection, Night Shift, and, um, doing that head-to-head -head with Skeleton Crew, which was his second, um, short story collection. Now, different seasons came out in between these two, but those are novellas, so that will be a different video for a different thing um, when we start talking about novellas. So, um, I went into this very blind with no biases, hoping that his short stories would be, would like knock me out. Um, <clears throat> I guess that is kind of a bias if I'm hoping they're going to be that good. But, um, I will give you a sort of spoiler now. I was more than pleasantly surprised. Okay. So, let's look at Night Shift first. What I did was I... Um, I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. Um... I made a table of 
um, all the stories from both um, books and rated each story. Um, now what I will say is that I think I liked Night Shift better, but Skeleton Crew has more stories in it that are rated higher. Okay, but it also has um, more stories that are rated lower. So talking about Night Shift first, I think the best story in Night Shift is um, called One for the Road, which is a um, sort of sequel, or at least takes place in the same universe as Salem's Lot. And um, it is just so perfect. Like, um, like Stephen King can write kids pretty good, especially the whole coming of age thing. But in this one, he wrote, um, like two old dudes at the end of their life kind of thing. And, um, it, it really worked. Like, um, I was kind of afraid because his, um, middle-aged people or um, his parents when he writes like people with children those people I think um, I just don't like how he characterizes them and I think that's one of my biggest um, like oof, when I'm coming across Stephen King's stuff um, one of the funny things about this that I didn't think he could do either was the first story in here is um, the short story Jerusalem's Lot, which is very much like a prequel to Salem's Lot. And it takes place long, long ago. And um, he really nailed the um, kind of Victorian... Um, letter writing, um, like your classic storytelling device of that day. Um, and I thought he did a really good job with that. Um, the story itself I didn't think was very good, but the fact that he did that and nailed it, I thought was cool. Um, Graveyard Shift was great. Um, that's about, um, these rats in the basement of this old building that they got to get rid of. Um, I Am the Doorway was really good. I really enjoyed that one. Um, like trucks. I didn't think I would like trucks at all. And um, I actually enjoyed it because that's what uh, Maximum Overdrive is based on. And I've seen that and that's like kind of fun but it's kind of like, ugh. But um, Trucks was really good. Um, Gray Matter um, was really good. And this story, I actually saw a, I believe in the first season of Creepshow on Shudder, they did a, a episode of this. It was a little different, if I remember correctly, but um, that was kind of cool. Um, Night Surf was weird. Like, at first, I thought I was going to hate it, and then I ended up liking it. Um, Battleground. Um, this was just super fun. And, um, ridiculous um think uh toy story or small soldiers written by stephen king um that was a lot of fun um trying to children of the corn i thought was kind of bad um but um 
last rung on the ladder wasn't very good. I mean, it was good, but I didn't like it. Um, and there's some, uh, like the Lawnmower Man. It wasn't that it was bad, but it wasn't great. And I don't know how um, they ended up making a damn movie out of that. Um, so anyway, so Night Shift, I think, is um, definitely a must-read. Like, if you like Stephen King and you've read a bunch of his books and you haven't read these short story collections, you're really doing yourself a disservice. Um, that was just really fun. Uh, Skeleton Crew. Now, Skeleton Crew um, has some really, really good stories. Um, the Jaunt is, I think, the best story in here. Um, it's about uh, interstellar travel by... Um, it's almost like if you read any um, like planetary romance like sci-fi stuff before sci-fi. So like your Edgar Rice Burroughs, Princess of Mars books, your um, Voyage to Octurus, your uh, anything where um, the only way to uh, get from one planet to another is basically like an astral projection kind of thing. This is like that, but with science backing the theories behind it. This was really good. I really liked it. Um, Here There Be Tigers is really short, and I thought it was great. Um, again, it's a cool story about a little kid. Um, the Raft from uh, Creep Show 2, the movie, is in this collection, and I remember... Um, my older stepbrother reading this story to me when we went camping. Um, that was kind of awful. Um, Nona, excellent story. Grandma, ridiculously scary. Very excellent story. Um, if you're afraid of old ladies, um, that one will get you. And then um, Mrs. Todd Shortcut. It's very, um, it's so funny because it's not a horror story, but there are horrific things in it, but because the focus of the story isn't based on the horrific things, the horrific things are just, like, little side effects that happen from this other really cool story that is almost a love story. It is, you know? Um, so that in itself was just, like, a really interesting way of telling a story. Um, the monkey was great. Um, I have a problem with the mist, um, oh, before I talk about the mist, but, um, the Ballad of the Flexi Flexible Bullet is a great story. Um, that was just really cool. It's one of those stories about a story that no one's ever read, and that's okay, because that's not the part of the story, or the important part of the story. The Reach is one of those um, kind of feel-good ghost stories. I don't, it's not really, I mean it is, but it's just, uh, it almost has like a cocoon feel, like the film Cocoon. Um, Uncle Otto's Truck, Survivor Type, these were all super good. Word Processor, The Gods, super good. Um, but then there was some, like, The Wedding Gig, Paranoid, 
for Owen, um, morning deliveries, stories that aren't Kane Rose Up. It's not that these stories are bad, but they're not as good as the stories that are in Night Shift. But, um, so that's the thing. Like, I think there's better stories in Skeleton Crew, but I think if you want a solid book, um, Night Shift is probably the book for you. Um, but The Mist, we have to talk about The Mist. This is the elephant in the room. Um, I don't like the way Stephen King writes fathers. Um, I probably would have liked it before I myself was a father, but since I have been a father, <clears throat> there are certain things that fathers do in his stories that I as a father that I as a father would never do. And it is hard for me to believe that any parent would do some of the things that he has parents do. And um, that's just like a me thing, and that's a, how I relate to stuff. Um, oh, I do, however, like how the mist ends compared to how that fucking awful movie ended. Um, but still, it's like, um, I don't want to ruin anything here, but there are just things that parents wouldn't do, and especially wouldn't do in certain situations. And, um, I don't know. I just, uh, that's one of my complaints with Stephen King. And I feel like I have to hold Stephen King to a higher, um, a higher level of scrutiny because of his, I don't want to say his fame, but his just like legendary status. You know, like, um, it's just one of those things. So anyway, um, I hope you liked this. Um, let me know what, which one of these you liked better than the other, if you've read both. Um, and next time I do this, it'll be, um, with, uh, Nightmares and Dreamscapes versus, um, Everything's Eventual. So, again, with this, I think Night Shift's a better book as a whole, but I think there are better stories in Skeleton Crew. And then there will be some stories that aren't as good as the ones in Night Shift, if that makes sense. So, um, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.